Some of the other sources of revenue are the special funds that we talked about where we could utilize those like the energy fund. And I have an example of that as we go through the, the slides. The budget includes the use of some grant money and some impact fees, like we're gonna be putting in a dog park. Um, so that will help us there. And then the use of uh, allocation of uh, open space uh, money, the communications bond, penny for pass. And you can see here just where the, uh, the biggest revenue source, obviously the property tax, but local options also pretty significant yeah. there. Here's a look at what our different city services are. On the left, they're all funded by the general fund, the user fees over on the right. These are all the different services. Some of our continued initiatives here with uh, energy projects, grants, stewardship, you know, you can see them up there. I know we're running short on time, yeah, so a little bit. I'm gonna kind of hustle through these a little bit, but we do have some energy projects uh, that we're doing this year and next year that are gonna save our taxpayers some money without increasing their taxes to do them. And probably the most important slide here was this mean to me. Uh, so if we looked at the proposed budget and the increase on an average condo and an average residence, we have about a $37 increase for a condo and a $54 increase for a home. Okay. Uh, and you can see the breakdown per month in terms of costs there. 